Here we are, flying high over the Colosseum in downtown Rome. Have you ever wanted to do this on your computer? Well, it's actually not that hard. Google Maps has this amazing capability to take you anywhere and fly you around. Here, let me show you how to do this. Here, all you've done is search for Rome, Italy. You've gone to that place and been there. But here, we're not in view. This is a more normal view of maps, and this is how you switch from maps view to satellite view. And once you're in satellite view, then you have this 3D button appearing on the right. Do you see that? If you click on that, watch what happens. Click, and the whole thing tips up. That is an amazing thing, because we are now in 3D. And if you zoom in, you'll be able to see the world in detail as you expect. But now, watch, watch what happens. I can now control click and move the image. That is, I can move my eye in space. So this is like flying. It's not quite flight mode, but it gives you the ability to do things like this. Control, click, drag, and you're pivoting around the center point in the image. So this is the Googleplex, but let's look for something more interesting, like, say, San Francisco. If we go to San Francisco, we see it here. That's sort of what you expect. But what we'd like to do is zoom in and get that same 3D capability. Remember, what you do is you go down to the 3D button, lower right, click on that, and that tilts up the view so that you can now start to fly around. But one of the things you see here is all these labels. Uh, is there a way to get rid of it? Sure, let me show you how. Over here on the left, there's the options to the three layer menu. Click labels off and voila, they disappear. Now I can collapse the side panel by clicking on that little widget upper, upper left and you have full 3D motion in San Francisco. This is the Golden Gate Bridge. But what if we want to go to some place even more exciting? Let's go back to Rome. So you just search in maps and again, we're here and we want to turn off the labels. You turn them off like this. Click on the labels off button and we have the Colosseum, the Forum, and all the beauty of Rome right here before you. If I click and drag, rolling down the control key, you can see this tip up motion or click and pivot motion. But what about another place? Let's go to Paris. Yes, here we are at the center of Paris in Google Maps. Now, one of the things you can see here is a Cathedral of Notre Dame is temporarily closed. I, I kind of knew that. But let's see what we can see anyway. So go again to 3D motion and click and drag and you can start to see that the spire is missing. So this imagery is pretty up to date. This isn't true for every possible place on the world, but in this case we've got an updated image of what Notre Dame currently looks like. Let's go to the other side of Paris. Let's go to the Eiffel Tower. Here we are visiting the Eiffel Tower and in these days being locked down and sheltering in place, this is a great way to go see the rest of the world. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.